Hi all, Alex here. Welcome to my uh, channel. Uh, on the desk you can see the Victrix 12mm World War II Russian T-34s, I think they are. And uh, this is what I've been doing bit by bit this week. Um, I've been putting the weathering in. These are fabulous little miniatures. Um, and I'm just gluing the tank riders down before I do a little bit of touch up on their uniforms. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, that's the T-34s. The decals are on now. I've done the weathering, put the rust in. Um, yeah, I like them. So that's the uh, that's the Russians. Once I get all six of these done, that's. Uh, that's the Russian side, and then I'll jump onto the Germans. Uh, the Panzer and the, um, oh, I can't remember what it was. I've got them up there to look at, but I haven't assembled those yet. So, uh, yeah, I like the T-34. It's always been uh, one of my favourites. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm doing at the moment. So I've done three. I've got a couple of bits of touch-ups on their uniforms to go through I've got three left um, and I haven't painted in properly yet the the commanders there's three commanders I've got to paint up and all I've done is uh, do something I normally do is I paint the I paint the figures on the sprue um, I just find it because the scale is so small and if you look at them bananas um, it's not the easiest for me to uh, handle them, you know. But anyway, uh, what I'll do is I'll snip these off, um, place them, glue them onto the tanks, the tank riders on there. I think Gary just wanted a couple here and there, but I might as well, you know, if I'm going to do a job, I want to do it right. So he's going to get all six with tank riders on them. Um, and that'll be the... Russians done. So I've done the SU-76s. Um, yep, finished. So uh, what else have I been up to this week then? I've had, um, it's been an exciting week. So again, I've been spending money and I decided to buy the, um, as you, as I had shown you from my previous video, the Saturn 3 Ultra uh, 3D printer. So the very first um, print I did was the test piece which is the uh, the rook and uh, reasonably happy with how that's come out uh, it looks pretty good there um, and then I washed it in the wash station that I bought and then cured it and it all seems fine so I bought the 3d printer primarily so I can uh, print off the miniatures that I'm interested in and um, this is uh, an RKX miniature. It's one of the freebies from the, um, oh, the, I can't remember the name of it now. Let me have a look. Plunder Promo Mini. So, um, and then I printed, this is the first miniature I did. And I'm not really uh, overwhelmed. I'm more underwhelmed with the detail on it now. It's probably not the STL file, I'm guessing, because RKX is fabulous. Um, it's more than likely my printer settings. It's either the resin, or which I doubt because my mate uses the same resin, um, or I've got my settings wrong. Now, I haven't messed around with the settings because I've got to be honest, when I'm looking at, at um, exposure and print heights and... Uh, Oh, it's it's a black art to me, so it's going to take me a while to get the hang of it. Um, so what I've done is I've just printed off. Uh, I've printed off a um, um, it's like a a calibration piece. Um, so I'm, we're going to go down and have a quick look in the garage. So I've I've set the printer up downstairs in the garage because I don't want to um, I don't want to smell the fumes or anything and. Uh, yeah, so, um, but luckily it's wireless, you know, being the Ultra, it's wireless, so I can simply bring up the uh, software, the splicing software, 
um, import the STL file into that uh, and then splice it and then send it wirelessly through to the printer that's in the garage. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not really upset with it because, you know, when I, I showed um, my mate uh, this figure, he said, oh, you yeah, know, just uh, details don't look crisp. So then I thought I'd uh, compare it um, and it could, it's not that bad. Uh, I think with paint on it, it'll look better. The, I mean, these are Perry ACWs. Um, it's not that far off, but if I can make the, the details sharper, then that's what I'm trying to do, which is why I'm calibrating it. So uh, now the RKX miniatures come in um, slightly bigger than 28 mil, I think. So I uh, I printed this off, uh, I changed the scale into 95%. And... I'm pretty sure I'm pretty I'm pretty happy that I've got the scale right. I mean this is a metal warlord figure, uh warlord games, and uh if I was to put them next to each other at ninety-five percent I think that's right. So uh yeah, that's uh that's what I'm gonna be using from now on. So uh what I've also been doing is messing about with a bit of scenery, so I decided to because if you go on to uh, Thingiverse or RKX they give you links to free stuff and uh, I thought I'd do a little bit of scenery so I've printed off a stone wall with a gate um, and that's all come out okay and uh, you know you've got corner bits and little bits of wall and 45 degree angles so uh, yeah so that's that's all I've printed off at the moment I've printed this, this test figure off which you know, if you look at the details on the weapon, um, on that Bren, it's not bad. It's not too bad. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to just play around with it and see if I can sharpen that up. I think I could make that look fabulous with some paint on it. Uh, and that may be what I'll do just to um, put my mind at rest. I suppose if you look at the backpack, then... It could do with a little bit more depth into the print, you know, if that's what if that makes sense. Um, yeah. So uh, that's uh, that's what I've been up to. So what I'll do, I'll uh, take the camera down now, and we'll um, have a quick look at the uh, test print. just popped it into the uh the cleaning station so it's doing this kind of uh, washing me washing machine thing and uh i'll just clean the resin off we'll have a quick look at it i'm pretty sure it's a bit rubbish so that's uh that's been in there for about seven minutes so i'm just going to put the glove on because this stuff is uh toxic or burns your skin so um Always wear the PPE in it, but uh, bear with me. I'm trying to do this one handed so I can film it, but uh, so there it is, that's cleaned off. Yeah, it looks absolutely rubbish. And that is that's the test piece. And what you're supposed to be able to do is discern. You can alter the settings so you make it crisper than that. So I'd say that my printer settings are the issue or the uh, the temperature of the resin. Okay, so I've plonked it on the plate and taken the, uh, the wash station out. So switch it on to cure. Let me give that about four minutes there's only one little bit in there and then off it goes might have been an idea to stand it up some way but 
we'll have a look in a second see you in a bit so that's it cured now then yeah it could be the details could be better couldn't they okay i need to keep working on it so there is the uh, the validation piece um i mean i don't know what's going on here it doesn't look right to me and there's a hole here that comes through here so yeah don't know don't know what to do don't know now i don't know i'm at the point now where i need to research how i make it better <laughs> so if you've got any ideas pop them in the comments <laughs> because i don't okay anyway i'll continue messing around with that until i've got the hang of it um yeah that's really all i've got for for this week um i've been messing around with as you can see the tanks and and the uh the printer and uh once i got the hang of it i can start um printing off a load of the rkx stl files which i'm going to buy from their store because i do rate that stuff so uh thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next one <laughs>